Santa's Missing List, Christmas Bedtime Story for Kids. Today we have a book named Santa's Missing List, Christmas Bedtime Story for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in the enchanting land of the North Pole, where snow glistened like diamonds and the northern lights danced across the sky, there lived a jolly old man named Santa Claus. Santa was known far and wide for his kind heart, his snowy white beard, and, of course, his magical naughty and nice lists. Every year Santa and his team of diligent elves carefully crafted this list, recording the deeds of children around the world. Those who had been good found their names under nice, and those who had been a tad mischievous, well, they ended up on the naughty list. One chilly morning, just days before Christmas, Santa discovered something dreadful. His beloved naughty and nice list had vanished. Panic rippled through the North Pole like a winter storm, and the workshop was thrown into chaos. Elves scurried about, gifts were misplaced, and reindeer training was a mess without the list to guide them. Amid the turmoil, a young elf named Jingle stepped forward. Jingle was known for his boundless enthusiasm and his dream of becoming one of Santa's top elves. With a determined spirit, he declared, I'll find the missing list, Santa. I promise. Santa, with a twinkle in his eye, nodded and handed Jingle his sleigh bell. They were known to bring good luck to those who believed, and Jingle believed with all his heart. With the sleigh bells in hand and a heart full of hope, Jingle embarked on his quest to find the missing list. Jingle's journey took him through the snowy forests of the North Pole, where friendly polar bears and playful penguins offered their assistance. He ventured into the mystical ice caves, where the northern lights painted the walls with vibrant colors, lighting his way. In his quest to find the list, Jingle encountered many challenges and obstacles. He outwitted mischievous snow imps, braved treacherous avalanches, and even sailed across a frozen lake on the back of a helpful sea serpent. Each step of the way, he remained steadfast in his determination to bring back the list. As he traveled, Jingle met children from around the world, all eagerly anticipating Santa's visit on Christmas Eve. They shared their hopes, dreams, and acts of kindness from the past year. Jingle listened carefully, for he knew that the missing list held the key to making their wishes come true. Finally, after days of searching, Jingle found himself at the heart of the North Pole, in the magnificent Crystal Cavern. There, he discovered the missing list, tucked away in an icy alcove. It sparkled with a magical glow, and Jingle knew he had succeeded. With the list safely in his possession, Jingle returned to the North Pole, his heart grimming with joy. Santa, the elves, and the reindeer cheered as he presented the recovered list. Christmas was saved. On Christmas Eve, Santa and his team set out on their annual journey to deliver gifts to children around the world. Jingle rode alongside Santa, his heart filled with pride and joy. As they visited each home, Jingle saw the smiles on children's faces as their wishes came true. It was a magical sight, and he knew that he had played a part in making it happen. When Christmas morning arrived, Jingle received a special gift from Santa, a golden bell, to hang on his elf hat. It was a symbol of his bravery, determination, and belief in the magic of Christmas. From that day forward, Jingle became known as Jingle the Brave, and he continued to play a vital role in Santa's workshop. And so, in the land of the North Pole, where the snow always sparkled and the northern lights painted the sky, 
A young elf named Jingle proved that even the smallest among us could accomplish the most extraordinary things when guided by a heart full of hope and the magic of Christmas. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.